Since its announcement, we've not had any further big updates on the highly anticipated sequel to Marvel's Spider-Man and Miles Morales. Right now, uh, most of what we know is based on a brief trailer which confirms that in Marvel's Spider-Man 2, Miles Morales and Peter Parker will make an appearance in what Insomniac has described as a darker game than the original. But let's have a look into all of the information we know at this time. Let's get into it. What is up guys? Welcome back to yet another brand new Major Ben video. I want to just quickly say I'm sorry I haven't posted in nearly a month now. I have been very sick with COVID and then also I've moved house, not in in the other order actually. I moved house first and then I was very, I've been sick with COVID ever since. I'm still not feeling great. I'm still very blocked up sinus wise, but um, I'm definitely getting there. Uh, but yeah, I'm back making content. This is my new house. This is the new background for the videos that you're going to be seeing in the future. You've got my TV in the background uh, and you can kind of see on screen what I'm playing and what I've been playing and stuff, which I thought was quite a cool touch. But we're going to be talking about Spider-Man as I said in the intro. So with Sony not taking part in Gamescom 2022, Marvel's Spider-Man 2 didn't appear at any of the show, unfortunately. However, though, Sony has increasingly taken to hosting its own dedicated shows now, rather than having these kind of appearing at Gamescom and, and any other things. While we don't know when the new Spider-Man details will drop, it feels like something is definitely brewing. So the reveal trailer for Spider-Man 2, which you'll see in the background occasionally, was revealed with a trailer at September 2021 PlayStation Showcase. The trailer is only around one and a half minutes long, but it does offer us a fair amount of detail. For one, we see both Peter Parker and also Miles Morales taking swings at goons, suggesting we may get to play as both Spider-Man uh, this time around. I have some concept footage as well, by the way, in the background, so it's not official gameplay. It is from Teaser Play on YouTube, so I give him credit for that. Uh, and it shows what it kind of could be like with the potential character switching between Miles Morales and Peter Parker as well. At the very end, and we got a surprise appearance of infamous Spider-Man villain Venom, an outer world symbiote with a passion for violence. So we'll expect he'll be one of the sequel's main villains. Unfortunately, there was no gameplay to analyze, but we briefly see a shot of Peter Parker getting a power surge with his iron spider arms, suggesting suit powers may be making a return. We also hear an ominous voice talking over the trailer, suggesting Peter and Miles will have yet another villain to face off against. For as long as I can remember, I have looked for an equal. Based on their speech about looking for a challenge and formidable opponents, we'd put our money on be it being Craven the Hunter, or I personally would put my money on it being Craven the Hunter, a classic Spider-Man villain with a similar attitude towards the prey he seeks out in the comics. Uh, so is there going to be a gameplay, re gameplay reveal incoming? Sorry. Insider and media analyst Millie Amand has claimed that we will be getting a look into Marvel's Spider-Man 2 gameplay soon, claiming that it's currently exceeding expectations for Marvel's higher-ups. Amand tweeted that fluidity and visual punch is striking according to an employee of Marvel. She ended this by saying, we'll be getting to see gameplay footage soon. Unfortunately though, Marvel's Spider-Man 2 didn't appear in the September 2022 state of play, which was announced after this update. So hopefully it won't be too long before we see our first look at Insomniac's upcoming sequel. Co-op on the cards. Marvel Spider-Man 2 might just include some kind of co-op element, according to recent rumors. Following the release of Spider-Man 2, or Spider-Man, sorry, Marvel Spider-Man on PC, data miners have uncovered what looks like to be a scrapped multiplayer mode in the game files. Found by Twitter user DNIWE Tamp, don't know how you pronounce that, um, via Reddit, he opens into the game files uh, to show a co-op and multiplayer notifications as well as some kind of pvp mode which would pit miles morales 
Morales and Peter Parker against one another in a competition. That's a pretty exciting thing to scrap, but Insomniac never actually announced the plan, any plans at all for the multiplayer mode in the first place. Now fans are naturally wondering if we could see this feature making some kind of appearance in Spider-Man 2. It, it would make sense, right? We've got both the characters here um, that we've played as both of them now. It would be kind of cool to if you've got a friend who's with you, you can play, you know, couch co-op, the main storyline. I think that would be absolutely insane. Uh, the PlayStation blog post um, announced the, announcing the game pretty excitedly said that the sequel is a single player experience, but the reveal trailer did lean heavily on Peter fighting alongside with Miles, something which could translate well into co-op. While it doesn't feel impossible that Marvel's Spider-Man 2 could indeed launch as a single player experience, but add a co-op element at a later date. We just can't be sure about Insomniac's plans until official confirmed, so we'll have to wait on them. So all we know is that Venom is definitely going to be in the game, so this does mean we're going to get a darker sequel to the first game. This certainly makes me happy as it will mean that Insomniac Spider-Man will remain its own kind of distinct version rather than the imitation of the more friendly like MCU versions that we see these days. I'm not such a big fan of those. I find them pretty childish. Um, and this also adds in as well a horror movie star Tony Todd who portrays Candyman in the original fil film series will be voicing Venom. So that's a great fit to the darker feel as well and uh, yeah you always know when they have people like that it's uh, definitely something to look forward to because those you know people who act on TV and film always make uh, bring a kind of stronger sense to some of the characters in the game worlds that we see. Uh, the Mars Morales novel writer has joined Insomniac Games, uh, Brittany Morris, the author of the Mars Morales prequel novel, Wings of Fury, has joined Insomniac Games as a writer. Morris announced the news on Twitter, revealing that the first project she will be working on is Spider-Man 2. Morris's addition to the team is certainly fantastic news. Her novel was well received and her knowledge of the Miles Morales character is sure to be a huge benefit to the sequel of the game. So, is it going to be a PlayStation 5 exclusive? Well, yes, for now at least. I would like to hope by 2023 we would be phasing out the PS4 versions of these games as they do cause games not to be as next-gen as they should be at this point. You know, they can't push boundaries when they're still having to make these games run on old platforms. Uh, and Xbox, well, that's a great big fat no. We know that's not going to be coming to Xbox. But the one place it could definitely go to would be PC. As we all know... Uh, from the more videos I've been making recently and uh, made on the channel in the last few months, Sony is working on bringing more and more games to the PlayStation platform, uh, which is great news. You know, the more people that get to play these games, the better, no matter how bitter some people online may seem about it. Um, it's definitely happening. More games are coming to PC. So what we could see here is probably not day and date. In fact, definitely not day and date, I wouldn't have thought, but we could see much like Spider-Man 2018 comes out four years later on PC. We could see a similar thing with a slightly smaller time scale maybe 2020 five or something we might see uh, it come to pc so who knows uh, but that's pretty much it for this video guys i i kind of wanted to take a dive into this um i'm so excited for the spider-man game uh, it's, it's going to be fantastic they're some of my favorite games miles morales was one of my favorite games actually i know it was short but i kind of like short games these days but this really is all we know at the time of this video of course there'll be more coming uh more information coming to light in the future and i will do an updated video as soon as we know more I do plan on now doing a Friday weekly series, a PlayStation weekly roundup on this channel. Every Friday we'll go through that week's PlayStation news. So I hope you guys do look forward to seeing that sort of thing. Um, I'm very excited to making those Friday videos. We may do some giveaways in there as well if you guys would be interested in that. Um, but yeah, just to say thank you for all the support on my channel recently. It's been awesome. I'm sorry I've not made a video. This is my first one back after feeling ill and moving to this house. Moving is such a stressful process i'm so glad it's done and i'm looking forward to cracking down on the last of us i'm going for the platinum trophy on that I've just kind of started working through that now. I haven't even been able to play it on the launch day when I pre-ordered it and stuff because I've been moving and, and been so unwell and just busy with the whole process of, of getting into this new house, which has been very difficult. But you're going to see more in the background. We're going to have like a poster poster wall up here. Uh, some shelves are going to go up and stuff. It's going to look really nice. We're going to get some neon lights and things in the background. 
All in all, it's going to be a really exciting time. Uh, plenty of videos. I'm doing Tuesday and Thursday's videos now. Uh, sorry, Tuesday and Friday videos now. Friday is going to be the PlayStation Weekly Roundup. And the Tuesday video will be kind of a video of my choice, like today's, talking about Spider-Man in the future. We are going to do Wolverine, uh, a, a deep dive into what we know about Wolverine and what's coming up in the future with that game. So that is another very exciting one. But that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching my content. I appreciate all of you. I love all my new subscribers and all my existing subscribers. Thank you so much to everybody for supporting me, and I can't wait to see you in the future, guys. Bye-bye for now.